on your job at the White House, because I've been trying to ask this question, it, this, there seems to be some confusion about what your role is, what type of question should we ask you. Sometimes you act like the second press secretary. What's, can, can you explain exactly what, what, what your job is at the White House? Uh, and, and if you're a second press secretary, or, uh, what type of question should we ask you? Is it on food? Is it on national security? And, and the reason I'm asking this is because almost everywhere I go, I have black people telling me that the reason you're at the White House is to undermine the first female black secretary. So can you clarify that and explain why, uh, you know, there are a thousand national security experts uh, at the National Security Council who can always be here and, and take questions on national security. So what type of questions should we ask you? That we Anyone gets any kind of idea in their head that, that I'm uh, taking away from Kareen or her work, that's really regrettable. Um, and, uh, and I'm very sorry that that's any impression that anybody would have. I am simply working at the National Security Council on National Security Communications. And uh, with her good graces, I'm able to come up here every now and then to talk to you about simply national security issues. That's my portfolio. That's where I'm limited. That's where I'll stay. And I do it at her, uh, at her invitation and, uh, and with her approval to come up here. So I, uh, that, that's, that's the focus. I'm happy to answer national security questions, and, okay. and that's about it. Thank, thanks, John. We're going to do like one last question just to get us back on track. Go ahead, Thank please. You, so you can share with us who may have briefed him. You know uh, that uh, that uh, that corruption um, is um, as we're dealing with the Northern Triangle is dealt with. Uh, hold on a second. I did have something that I wanted to share with all of you. If I can find it really quickly. Just give me a second. I don't have it with me. President support. Um, for for we've 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 taken actions over the past. We're not a border town. We don't have an infrastructure uh, to handle uh, this this type of and a level of immigration to our city. But we will will create a new normal here in our infrastructure and have a, a human welcome for people and an efficient um, you know service provision. But we we don't have the ability. We're not Texas. The governor of California sent a letter to the Department of Justice saying you need to prosecute Texas and Florida governors. And all I can say is um, I think his hair gel is interfering with his brain function. Use uh, to bring a border crisis deeper into the country. Now, I can tell you they are not angry at uh, Ron DeSantis. They are actually thanking him for having brought them to Martha's Vineyard, where they were, they were very well received. But other people, well, they're saying they're being used as political pawns. They don't resent it for now, uh, and they know they're the lucky ones. Attorney in Boston, we need to represent some of the migrants mm -hmm. on a voluntary basis, saying that a DHS has assigned some of these migrants uh, fake addresses, and that that's complicated their cases and their ability to get hearings. Do you know if that's accurate? And uh, can you say that? Like, D you said DHS. Yeah. And say that, and then can you continue from uh, there? The DHS has ass assigned some of uh, these migrants fake addresses, and that that's complicated their cases and their ability to get hearings and, and so forth. Um, do you know if that's accurate? Uh, and this is the first time I'm hearing of this, so I would have to, to reach out to my colleagues over at DHS to, to see if that is actually true. And just um, uh, if you... It's more of a question right now of helping people to develop but don't mistake, don't don't make the mistakes that we've already made in the past. Be as green as possible and help us move forward <clears throat> in a way that will uh, not make the problem worse than it already is.